Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 9th of 2019. Well, it is titled NGC 7714 starburst after galaxy collision. So what do we see here? We see a galaxy and a galaxy that appears to have recently undergone a collision. Now there's just the one galaxy here. The other galaxy that collided with it would be off the edge of this frame at this point. And what we see is that it, when it collides through when galaxies collide it's not like a collision as we're used to here on Earth where two things smash together. Galaxies are almost completely empty space. So when we look at them the spaces between the stars are very large compared to the stars themselves. So stars do not actually collide when galaxies do they just pass right by each other. However larger objects like gas clouds will collide together. And when gas clouds collide, that will enhance the star formation, they will begin new star formation by causing those clouds to begin to collapse. And that's part of what we're seeing here. We see some of the older regions in the yellowish and the red, uh, which are older type stars that have been around longer. But we also see those tendrils of blue stars. Blue stars do not live a very long time. So in order to see them, they must have formed in the recent past, astronomically speaking, meaning within the last few million years or so. Now we also see that the galaxy is very distorted in shape. Often when we look at galaxies, galaxies, we see nice spiral structure. And here it's all distorted and stretched out. And that's another thing that happens when galaxies collide, their gravitational fields collide, and material gets strewn out even though it does not collide with anything else. So the galaxy also gets stretched and distorted as the galaxy passes through it. Now galaxy collisions do occur on a regular basis. And in fact, a decent number of galaxies are undergoing collisions, collisions now. And other galaxies like our own will undergo collisions in the future. And that will occur when the Andromeda galaxy gets very close to us and we will collide with it, uh, forming eventually a larger galaxy. One of the results of galaxy collisions can be mergers that galaxies will merge together. And that is what thought might happen with this after a few hundred million years. As these galaxies collide again and again, they will slowly lose a little bit of energy and eventually could coalesce into just a single galaxy. And this is how we believe galaxies evolve and change over time. That galaxies that we see today are not like the galaxies that we saw shortly after the Big Bang. And galaxies then were much smaller. And they have since over those billions of years coalesced into larger galaxies. Thinking back then the universe was much smaller and more densely packed with galaxies so collisions were even more frequent than they are today and that allowed to enhance this process giving us a chance to build up the large spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today through a process similar to what we see a snapshot of in our image for our picture today. So that was our picture of the day for October the 9th of 2019. It was titled NGC 7714 starburst after galaxy collision. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the window seat. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.